thank you, Police Senior Inspector De Vera, for that pleasing introduction. To our esteemed Regional Training Director, Police Superintendent Henry Blanca Villar, sir. To the Assistant Regional Training Director, Police Chief Inspector Mario Vasco Ocutan, sir. To all uniform and non uniform staff of Regional Training School 1. To all the student trainees of RTS 1, the PSBRC, PSJLC, PSSLC, and PSOAC. Other guests, if there are any. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Troop Commander, please give your men the casting. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually my third time to be a speaker in this training school. The first time that I stood in front of an audience such as this was when I was a recruit way back 2001. And the second time was when we were about to graduate in PSBRC. I remember last Monday when we, the PSOAC, hosted the flag raising ceremony. As we were waiting at the main gate for the ceremony to begin, I was watching the recruits fixing their green camouflage uniforms. I believe that that day was their first time to wear their uniforms. I can see how pleased and proud they were as they stand still and snappily march on the training ground. Ladies and gentlemen, let me address my message to our beloved recruits. As I remember it right, you are now on your third month of training. Third month with so much restrictions. Third month not seeing your family and the third month of struggle. But still, I want to believe that it is a worthy struggle of becoming a good quality men and women of Philippine National Police. We know that your first training day is still fresh in your minds. The muddy faces, the breathtaking reception, the cruel, heartless, pitiless, and brutal trainers who did nothing but to make your lives miserable and unwanted. What makes it worse is that all of you are a total strangers in this place. Strangers with nothing. No friends and no family who will mend your broken and burdened hearts. As you've got, or all of you, only got is yourself, your soul, your heart, a prayer in your pocket, and a picture of your children and loved ones of whom they were the reasons why you are sacrificing. Reminiscing the reception that you have undergone, we know that it always gives you a chill behind your spine. We also know that you almost decided to pack your things and quit because you are longing to be with your family and you can no longer endure the training and determination that you will make it. Hardship, I should say, is the best term that I can describe for the training that you are undergoing. But let me reveal to you something that I hope you'll bear in mind. Endure hardship as discipline. Your trainers are treating you as their sons and daughters. For what purposes are the sons and daughters being disciplined by their parents? If you are not disciplined, then you are regarded as illegitimate children 
and not two sons. Just like in our homes where our parents discipline us to become a better person. My dear recruits, consider RTS1 as your second home away from home, where your tacklers and AIs are your parents, for they say that parents should discipline their children for just a little while, as they know best, and they should discipline you for your good. I say this, my dear recruits, because all of us here, the students of PSJLC, the PSSLC, and the PSOAC, have also experienced what you are undergoing now. And because we have, and we are still enduring hardship and discipline, it is for this reason why we are, and still standing firm, and continuously serving and protecting the community. Remember, no discipline is pleasant. Discipline is always painful. But later on, this painful discipline will produce a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Therefore, I say to you, my dear recruits, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees make level paths for your feet endure the pain of discipline and run with perseverance for it is a race that marked out for you to reach your aspiration thank you and good day <laughs>